Uh, my first question to you today, Minister, is on the Marriage After 60 Clause. Uh, in 2015, your government promised to remove this clause. It was in previous Veterans Minister mandate letters, uh, but I noticed it was not in yours. However, I recognize that in 2019, there was $150 million committed over five years for survivors of veterans who married after 60. What I cannot find, Minister, is anything in public accounts or estimates that show that any money at all was spent. So I have two questions for you today. When will this clause finally be removed, considering that many veterans live well into their 80s and their partners are caring for them during that time? And two, why was this money not spent? And if it was, will you provide the committee with the relevant documentation to prove that it has been spent? Thank you very much, uh, uh, Ms. Blaney. I appreciate your question. And I also always appreciate your concern. Uh, and on this issue, my department has been working with Statistics Canada and the Canadian Institute for Military and Veterans Health Research to learn about um, the characteristics and needs of these survivors. Over the, over the coming months, the department will use the results of this research to inform how best to support these survivors. First, we need to get the data and the information on just how many of these people are out there, where they're located, and anything else that we can find out about them. That is what we have done, are doing, and will continue to do. Okay, so the money has not actually been sent to those folks. And I can promise you, Minister, that what's happening for them is that they are living in more poverty because they're not getting the support that they well deserve. When you marry someone or commit your life to someone, I certainly hope uh, that Veterans Affairs will accept that. And I didn't hear an answer at all about when that's going to be changed. So I'm gonna assume that that's no longer a priority for this government.